Okay, so I'd like to just give you a quick overview of how I'm doing brands and suppliers research currently. Uh, basically with two main Google Sheets, one that I'm using to determine which brands I'm approved to sell in bulk. And I'm doing that by using this Google Sheet in combination with uh, this Chrome extension. And then I've got another Google Sheet, one of my older systems, that will take the certain brands that I've chosen and then find potential suppliers of those brands. Then from there, I'm investigating the brands and the suppliers, uh, or rather the brands on Amazon, and I'm also investigating the suppliers as well. Now, Rake It In is the site, which is a cashback site, that I've chosen to use as a source for this, and it's not the only potential source. But the reason is that uh, Rake It In has over 3,000 different suppliers on it, different stores, online stores. And then they also have a very huge brands list as well. So if you go to see all brands, they have brands broken down under each letter of the alphabet, as you can see, and they have a lot. This is just letter A alone. So what I've been doing is going to each of these pages and scraping these brands. You can do that with the free Chrome extension, Instant Data Scraper. And I'm assembling those brands under one Google Sheet. So far, I've done A to H. I will do the rest of the alphabet, and you can download that from me. Uh, so I will provide that as a link. And then I've also got um, this more recent list of all the suppliers as well. If you go back to the stores page, you'll see all of the different stores, online stores. Um, these are a little harder to scrape because they, they're not all on the page at once. You have to keep scrolling down. But I have gone ahead and done that for you. So here's a complete list of over 3,000 rake it in suppliers. Okay, so you have this list available as well. Now, so those are lists, okay, rake it in brands, rake it in suppliers. All right, it's a cashback site. These are all the brands through that site. These are all the suppliers. Now, uh, what this system then does is it checks it finds ASINs of those brands and you can see that I've already found ASINs of these particular brands and let me just remove this filter uh, now I do have a demonstration video where I show you how to actually use the system this video I just want to show you the results so you can understand the overall process uh, and then taking these ASINs um, from the sheet which are all of these ASINs put together Run the, running them through this Chrome extension, which has a bulk restriction checker, and bringing that data back, I'm able to see which of these brands, I'm able, to, I'm able to determine which of these brands I'm allowed to sell. Okay, so then using this filter, I filtered out only those that are uh, allowed to sell. And then, so now I know which brands I'm allowed to sell. Okay, this is just letter A. Okay, I only did brands beginning with letter A from Rake It In, so this is only some of the brands that you could be doing. Okay, just a small set of the brands. Okay, I then took these brands. Uh, okay, I then take these brands and I bring them over to this system, which is the Brands to Suppliers Automatcher. And what this system does is it automatically finds potential suppliers for these brands. And that's what we have over here on the right. So from that point, you have suppliers, you have brands on the side, you have suppliers on the other side. So at that point, all you need to do uh, is to take some of these um, brands, say this one, and search for them on Amazon and do a an process of investigation, which I won't really get into here, but mainly you just want to see if you, uh, let me take one that, uh, say this one, ALC, for instance. Very quickly, I'm going to paste it in the catalog. And you see that you have approval to sell the brand. That's the main thing. And then you can open the products and look at you know more details on the products. And then you can also see what potential suppliers came up for that brand. Okay, and you can open uh, some of those suppliers and see if you can even find these products uh, on that site. 
or not. Okay, you have to investigate. Okay, so it may or may not work out with this brand. And then there are others that you can try too, right? There's Access Lighten, for instance. Okay, so it's the same idea. You take this brand. Okay, you search it. You see, uh, you search it on Amazon. You see what types of products are available. You see that you're approved to sell the brand. You can open the products as well. Okay, and then going back to the matcher, you can see some of the different suppliers um, that come up like Lamps Plus or Home Depot. Uh, let's say open Home Depot. You can actually check to see, um, search this brand on Home Depot as well to see if there are products of this brand on Home Depot. And as you, as you can see, there are okay products of the Access Lighten brand. So what this tells me is that I've got a brand called Access Lighten. It sells on Amazon. I am approved to sell this brand, right? I've, I'm, I'm seeing that uh, there's several products of this brand that I am approved to sell. And this brand is also sold at Home Depot. So there's some potential for me to buy these products from Home Depot and to sell them on Amazon. Okay, this is the connection that brands allow us to make between supplier and marketplace. And so that is the overall, uh, that's my overall summary of the process. So what you can do is go ahead and get, uh, you can get copies of these systems, first of all. But actually, I do have videos uh, to go with them that actually explain how to actually use these systems so that you can see how I get these results in. All right. Uh, and I have videos for both for the brands, uh, ASINS Finder with restriction check-in, as well as the brands to suppliers matching process. And then also make sure you get a copy of the Rake It In brands. Um, that, uh, now, if I don't have the complete copy of the Rake It In brands as yet, you can also just scrape brands one letter at a time with the free Chrome extension. But I definitely have the complete list of Rake It In suppliers that you can download right now. And so you can use that as well uh, to help you find suppliers in the suppliers auto matcher system. And then if you have questions or comments or suggestions, you can just leave them below or you can contact me directly. But this was just more of a summary overview video. And then if anything, I'll do another video where I'll actually take you through this process with a set of brands and suppliers so you can actually see the process in more detail. But until then, this is Mr. Mark, and I look forward to seeing you around on the channel.